Statistics on the number of jobless claims in Vermont. It is proving to be a lot on an already antiquated system, but officials say the help will get to you. Local 22's Brittany Weir reports now from Montpelier. That's right, Lauren, and today is the first day of the month, which means rent is due and utilities are due on top of all other expenses such as groceries. And in the midst of a pandemic, most people are wondering how they're going to pay their bills. Many are concerned not only about the health of their family, but their financial future as well. Small businesses are hurting now more than ever. Commerce and Community Development Commissioner Lindsay Curley is encouraging they apply for the Economic Industry Disaster Loan. With it, businesses affected by COVID-19 could receive a grant for up to $10,000. You must first apply for the Economic Injury Disaster Loan and then request the advance. The advance does not need to be repaid and may be used to keep employees on payroll, pay for sick leave, meet increased production costs due to supply chain disruptions, or pay business obligations. Curley also said that employers can apply for the Paycheck Protection Program and could apply for a loan of up to $10 million. This incentive program can help small businesses keep their workers on payroll by providing loans to cover expenses associated with payroll. The Labor Department has expanded benefits to employers and to people who have been impacted. People who are having to work from home will find relief in their benefit in their uh, taxes uh, come the next calculation. According to Harrington, if you already filed a claim with the Labor Department, you will be receiving an additional $600 from federal government for the next four months. If you've already filed a claim with the department, there's nothing more you need to do. That $600 will be automatically added to your claim uh, when you file for this week. Harrington also said that the Department of Labor has filed more claims in the past two weeks than they usually do in a given year. They have filed well over 30,000 claims and have had to triple their staff in order to keep up with them all. Brittany Weir, Local 22 News.